everybody from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Bob Wolf, along with Tom Keen, the Rowdies come in with a lot of momentum. They have won six of their last seven and four in a row, but they may have a few problems this evening because they have to switch their offensive techniques and their defensive too. Bob, that's correct. Uh, they leave home such stars as Van Der Veen and Fabiani, and they will go with a 4-4-2 formation that works so well in Philadelphia, but different performers on the field tonight. Farouk Qureshi getting a start in midfield. He'll be a, kind of in a defensive role. Houston has similar injury problems. Both teams want to win tonight. The Rowdies would like to keep that momentum that you spoke of going. Houston needs to break out of a, a little string, as you saw on our screen. Rowdy's eight and three, Houston three and eight. They've got a tough one, New England, Saturday night on the road. They almost get done with this game and get right on the plane. They'd like to get it right now uh, before their home fans and then take it on the road with them, trying to get out of the cellar. So we'll have all the action for you in just a moment, but first, this message. Tom Keen and Bob Wolf, back you back with you at the Houston Astrodome. A pleasure to be here tonight, and of course uh, the temperature always right. We have the lineups for you and uh, the marvelous faces of the Rowdies upcoming. Winston Debose, no change there in goal. The back line, though, a little bit different tonight as they go 4-4-2. Here's Ivanchikov with a start on the left side. In the middle, the ever great combination of Connell and uh, Rafik Kozic. They will anchor that middle for the Rowdies tonight on defense. And uh, Manny Andrzejewski on the other wing defender position. Look for him to get up in the attack. Here's Farouk Qureshi. Farouk will be playing a defensive midfield role, kind of dropping back and sweeping things up as the other players who are in the middle. John Gorman will go forward and try to help out in the attack. Harry Van de Beek also look for him to get up into the attack as well as defend and run all over the field. Peter Berilich looking for another fine game to continue his good efforts of late. And up front all alone, like they used in Philadelphia, Stephen Wegerly, the great winger who will be kind of an inside player, and then Neil Roberts, the Rowdies, a uh, big center forward up there alone with uh, Stephen Wegerly. Now for Houston, they have had trouble too in the injury department all year. And here's Roland Sickinger with his second start of the year. And Paul Hammond, the ex-Rowdy, out with ligament damage. Here's ex-Rowdy Ian Anderson and uh, a rock here in the Houston defense. Also former Rowdy Stuart Jump in the back line for the Hurricane. And we run it down, and uh, we continue with the back line, and it's Mark Stahl, number three, 
And uh, number eight is John Stremlau. And they're the two Americans, along with uh, Sickinger, who uh, round out the American roster. Here's the Finnish player, Kai Haskovy. You've seen him indoor many times at the Bayfront Center. Dale Russell, the graduate of Philadelphia Textile, a native of Bermuda, also working in midfield. The great German player, Horst Bertel. Look for him to be involved a lot in the uh, attack for Houston tonight. Up front uh, from the Mexican leagues of last year, Carlos Perusi, a forward, uh, has added a lot to the goal-scoring needs of Houston this year. In the middle, it's uh, number 19 for them. Uh, make that uh, Ruben Morales, number 15. And uh, also up front, number nine, Eduardo Morasco, as they round out the roster for the Hurricane. That's the starting 11. We'll have the kickoff with the Hurricane and the Rowdies right after this. Tom Keen and Bob Wolf back with you at the Astrodome. There's the young American Sickinger who will get his second start of the year. And of course, the Rowdies veteran now, Winston DeBose. The referee is Robert Evans, the linesman, Daniel Guardo, and Larry Jackson. And this game on the way. An important game for the Rowdies as far as their league standings go. They're gaining on intrastate rival Fort Lauderdale for first place in the American Eastern Division. The Rowdies have accumulated 69 points in 11 games to the Strikers' 77 and 13 games. Fort Lauderdale is at Tulsa tonight. We'll be getting a score of that for you during the course of this one. Keep you advised. And Sickinger comes up with the ball as he rolls him off to the side to stall. Number three. Sickinger, by the way, in his first game, got a shutout. He lost the second game. He's one and one with a very fine goals against average. Paul Hammond, who's been the regular goalie, is injured, and Sickinger in his place going against Winston DeBose. Keeping it alive just outside of the box area. Out of bounds, you saw going out of bounds off scrum law number eight. Going across the goal line. And as it comes off to the side right now, we'll have the uh, corner kick coming up. Rowdies have worked very diligently on their corner kick plays. And one of our upcoming episodes at halftime, we'll take a look at some of their strategies as they execute the uh, various designs of this play. This one lofted right toward the left of the goal. And it's headed away. The Rowdies try to regain possession. And we have the whistle on the play, Tom. Whistle there against uh, the Rowdies over the shoulder, and uh, they were trying to get that corner into Neil Roberts for the flick arm, but well defended by Stuart Jump. So Anderson puts it in play. Stall. The Rowdies will be using a 4-4-2 this evening offensively, but they'll bring up two of the midfielders when the occasion demands, with Barowitz and Perry Vandebeck coming up to help out offensively. Then dropping back quickly, depending on the occasion. Morales with the ball, getting across the 35-yard line. This is the player coach, Brittle, assistant coach. Perucci letting the ball go to Brittle. Comes back to midfield, and there's a cross pass to the far side. Stremlaw to Russell, number 10. And Russell over to his steward jump. Former Rowdy. And to the far side once again as they move inside the 35-yard area. 
This is Russell, and he loses the ball as the Rowdies get it back up to midfield. Roberts taken down there. The ball brought out of the back nicely by Qureshi, and uh, the return ball from Roberts was there, but the referee did not allow advantage to go. Rowdies on the road have been two and two at home. They have an impressive six and one mark, which they'll test when the Cosmos come to town on the 14th. Oh boy, that should be some game. Folks are eagerly awaiting that one. Sickinger. Sickinger, a tall goalie. USA citizen, comes from Milwaukee. Morales sends it forward. Intended for Perusi, a little too far, and DeBose has the ball. Interesting composure in the back by the Rowdies with Connell and that little back flick there. Could have been in danger, but uh, right now it looks like a composed back line, even though it's a change in the cast over the last couple of weeks for Tampa Bay. Well, the Rowdies certainly have gotten used to making changes during the course of the year, Tom. Bertle sends it forward. Qureshi clearing it. Back to Morales as he feeds himself coming on the far side. Morales sends a cross to the left. Nice work by Morales, but then the, the useless cross that just was too high and too far for anybody to do anything with except for the Rowdies to get it back. A little too far for Gorman on the side. And Eon Anderson doing the defensive job, but the Rowdies try to get it through and take him back over by the Hurricane. The Hurricane has been mostly a defensive team so far this season. But the fans here have been imploring them to get their offensive start. And of course, they've been waiting the uh, Rowdy's arrival, hoping that they can start their drive upwards tonight. Sickinger is 6'2", 195 pounds, the goalie, 21 years old. And at that height, and Wade is the largest member of the Houston squad. Could be a card here, handball on Bertle, I believe. Yes, the yellow card is out. He really had to do it because Gorman had found himself free on the wing and got some good service. Bertle had to knock it down to stop the play. Gorman would have been free to cross the ball with a lot of time. So Bertle gets the yellow. And of course, uh, one more uh, violation similar to that. And he's gone and the Hurricane play a man short. Headed away by Stahl, out of the way of danger, and it goes across the line. These are important days to the Rowdies. They've got some big games coming up, and a whole profusion of them taking place in June. They're a long way to determining how far upwards they go as they battle for Lauderdale, gaining on them steadily after the uh, early going. They're calling offside on the run by Andrzejewski. And they uh, will put it down there. In the meantime, no score. Right back after this. Tom Keene and Bob Wolf back, you, back with you at the Astrodome and uh, early on here in the first half, 37-58 left in the half. Still no score. Houston Hurricane with their orange jerseys, uniforms, over to Stewart Jump. 
Now to the far side as Neil Roberts tries to get the ball away. Ball pushed across the 35-yard line on the give and go of the return pass and cleared from inside the defensive zone of Tampa Bay. Stahl has it, number three, for the Houston Hurricane. No score. We're in the uh, first half of this game. Try to get it through. Ian Anderson couldn't. Brittle has it back. Loops one toward the goal. Headed high in the air. Still up in the air. And finally cleared out of the uh, box area. Neil Roberts tries to get it through, but the Houston Hurricane press their offensive advantage, and they try to get the pass to Morales. Horatio comes over there to get the ball away. Bertle intercepts, and now gets off a shot toward the goal. Almost headed in as DeVos had it come out. Once again in the box area, Morales shoots and goes up over the goal. There's a violation, and uh, they'll put down a free kick in the penalty area, but... Uh, a little composure problem there in that series for Tampa Bay. Horatio trying to do a little too much to get it out of danger. And his back pass didn't have a lot on it. Houston got a little magic going. They're the best opportunity for either side at this moment. But the finishing still wasn't right. And that's been the hurricane story all year. They were pressing their advantage that time, but couldn't put it through. Morales' shot was partially deflected. As you saw, went up over the goal. Not to Barilich right now. Not Connell. Now they try the far side, trying to move it in toward the middle from there. There's the pass toward the uh, box area. Neil Roberts gets one off, just to the left of the goal, a little too far for the kick. And as they battle for the ball, it's finally kicked out of bounds as Russell comes over and kicks it away from Perry Vandebeck. A very nice series there by the Rowdies. So Andrzejewski up uh, from his defensive post on the wing. Here you see Russell with the good clearance as Perry struggled to, to get control, and you might think there was a foul there but Russell got the ball first and the man later opportunity for the rallies and here's the corner and as it comes out right now for Quraishi sends it just to the left of the post he sort of slid under that one didn't get too much momentum behind the kick time we'll be back after this no score from the Astrodome the rallies and the hurricane Okay. Keenan Bob Wolf at the Houston Astrodome North American Soccer League action. The Rowdies of Tampa Bay and the Hurricane from Houston. And we want you to know that this program is authorized under rights granted by the Tampa Bay Rowdies solely for the entertainment of our audience and any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event, including the imposition of a charge for viewing the program without the express written consent of the Tampa Bay Rowdies and WTOG-TV is strictly prohibited. The announcers and commentators of this program have been selected for and have been hired by the Tampa Bay Rowdies and WTOG-TV. A little less than 35 minutes to go now in the first half. Each team has had two... Uh, Houston has had three shots on goal. Tampa, two. The last one while we were away was a shot by Stewart Jump. Went high up over the goal post and way back. Typical shot for a defender, they would say. <laughs> a little high. Got to get that body over the ball. Now Steve Wiggly, who has excelled in recent weeks, getting set to put the ball in play. Just about a yard or so from the uh, box area. Roberts and Kozic are up in the penalty area to receive it. They like to look for uh, Roberts with his height. And this time it's headed, but not quite hard enough. Ball is coming down. There wasn't enough altitude to actually get a good header on it. Morales inside the 35-yard line, and he still has the ball. This is Morales getting off the cross, 
head of the way, and it comes out to the right side now as the Rowdies clearing out of their own end. Gorman gets it up to midfield, and we have a bump there and a whistle. Ian Anderson from behind on Wegerly, and again, Connell with the clearance. Uh, the Hurricane have had success so far in getting their crosses in from the wings. They found the freedom. Peter Barilich getting set. The beard is growing more uh, luxurious all the time, isn't Without it? Without a doubt. Well, he headed it for the right man, but they had to move it back, and it's taken back by the Hurricane. No score. We're in the first half. Houston against the Tampa Bay Rowdies who come in with a four-game win streak. In six of their last seven, they've been a hot team, and they're intending to keep it up. But they've come in this evening with out Oscar Fabiani, a groin, Peter Anderson, ankle, and Wes McLeod, his knee, and Jan van der Veen, right hamstring. So they've had to revise their lineup considerably. The irony of the situation, according to team doctor Andrew Boyer, is that they all could be fit for Sunday in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, they're anticipated they'll be all back for that nationally televised game. Morales trying to get through, and the ball kicked away as Gorman comes over, kicks the ball out of bounds. In fact, it cost more to keep a man in prison than send him to Harvard. George Kennedy is your host for a brutal encounter with life behind bars in hard time, Wednesday at 10 on 44. The Astrodome seats over 50,000 when they play their football games here, and close to that for the baseball. About 35,000 or so when it's filled up for soccer. Gorman sends it high in the air. Van de Beek. Gets inside. Kozic gets it back. The Rowdies keep the ball, and now they move off to the far side to Wiggly. This is Wiggly. Very good ball. And the pushes it forward, looks for a return pass, can't get it. And the Hurricane take over as they counter by moving toward the 35-yard line. Muscovy. And there's a deflected one which taken rather easily by Winston DeVos, but for a while there appeared to be an opening as you see Ian Anderson who tried to get through. Nice uh, cutback of the ball by Hoscovy and uh, the deflection has gotten the Hurricane corner kick. And again, we saw Houston breaking quickly, finding the room on the wing. Hoscovy that time was being defended by midfielder Perry Vanderbeck. Houston coached by Eckhard Krautsen. Rally is putting the ball in play in the corner kick, and it goes banana style. It curves in, it was headed in. So there is the goal. It's Stuart Jump, the ex Rowdy. I believe he'll get credit for it. We'll watch the replay. It was flicked on nicely uh, to Jump by one of his uh, teammates, and we'll check that in and who that is. Pick it out. Well struck corner, hit hard, and it really bends into the crowd. Looks like Bertle was up high, and right there, with good position on Kozic, was Stuart Jump. Jump, a 1975 Soccer Bowl MVP when he was with Tampa Bay, and he's got to be pleased as heck to come up from the back on the set play and get the Hurricane out front. So that makes it a one nothing score. You saw that ball as it was bent in from the corner. Headed in right toward the goal and right on target. Very difficult to stop, and the Rowdies have their difficulties. So Houston Hurricane takes a 1-0 lead. Taken away by Gorman as he gets it off to the left-hand side. Wiggly trying to get it back. Jump is marking him closely. Steven doing well to hold it up, even though he was trying to go forward, because there wasn't a lot of support at the time. Uh, only Barilich and Roberts up now. A lot of white shirts up around the penalty area. Trying to get it to Van de Beek. Russell was over there to get the ball. And the foul goes against Russell. Trying to ride Van de Beek off the ball, and he'll get the free kick. Wegerly to take it for Tampa Bay. And again, uh, defender Kozic up in the penalty area, along with uh, the big center forward Roberts. John Gorman also in the penalty area. Wiggly lifts it toward the goal, intended for Roberts, a little too far. 
Kozic keeps it in play over to Ivanchikov. Sanji can't get it off. A little pushing going on there. As Barilic rescues it with a heel pass. He tries to get it through, but can't do it. Stremlau intercepts. Morales. And Morales being ridden by Gorman. And we've got the whistle. Gorman kind of retaliating because Morales took the ball off of Vanshikov earlier and did it with a lot of gusto. And uh, John coming back with his spirit. No card, though, just a free kick. Hoskovy. Punch one high in the air. Time of the goal for Houston, 15-15, and uh, it was another blonde-haired player, Haskovy, who got the assist in turning it toward jump. Thought it was brutal, but the Morales took the corner kick from the far side and uh, a nicely executed set play for the Hurricane. Hurricane once again a threatening as Morales gets it inside the box area. Morales clear penalty clear. kick. They call the penalty. And John Gorman, his hands go up. The Hurricane could jump out quick here. By the way, on jump goal, his first of the season as a Hurricane. Of course, Stewart jump a defender. The ball comes in. I believe they're calling a handball inside the penalty area. But at any rate, Anderson, Ian Anderson, will take the penalty. He's their leading scorer. He is a penalty kick specialist. Indeed. It's rather uh, easy to get up there in the scoring column if you're a penalty kick specialist and take them all because the advantage is with the kicker. As you just saw. Right up into the top of the net. Uh, talking about Anderson being the leading scorer it's indicative of Houston's uh, scoring problems that's only his fifth goal of the season and uh, that indicates that Houston has had problems finding the back of the net but right there no trouble and ever so quickly with 25 36 left in the first half the hurricane jump out to zip they're up for the Rowdies. that was Anderson's ninth straight penalty kick conversion the only penalty he's missed in his hurricane career was his first in early 1978. Opportunity there for Tampa Bay. Sickinger uh, crowding out Roberts. He'll get the goal kick. And Anderson was a uh, rowdy. He scored his first goal against the Cosmos in his rowdy debut. Back in 77. Yeah, that was a great one at Tampa Stadium when the Rowdies won it 4 to 2. Peruzzi, number four. Hoskovy. Horatio gets it up to midfield. Kept in play by Morales. Cross pass to the far side. 2-0. Houston leads here in this first half. This is WTOG TV. Tampa, St. Petersburg, Channel 44. Barilich. Van de Beck in pursuit. Up to Morales. Morasco, number nine. They say play on over to Bertle. Brittle feeds to the left, and it goes out of bounds. As Morales was coming in on the left side. With 23-43 left in the first half, the scoreboard tells it all. Houston with a 2-0 bulge over the rally. More in a moment.
Tom Keenan, Bob Wolf at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Still in the first half of this North American Soccer League game. 2-0, the Houston Hurricane lead. Barrelich now moving toward the 35-yard line. Gets inside of it, still going toward the box area. Gets off the shot, just a little too high. Good run by Barrelich that time as he found an opening and came up from his position to help out on a striking spot. Rowdy's playing 4-4-2 in their offense, but Barilich and Vandebeck are coming up to do what they can on occasion. And this time, the ball is just a little high. Classic run by Barilich. Uh, he tends to use the elbows a little bit too much, but uh, barreling right by the defender and uh, getting off a cracking shot. Could have been. Seconds are really not tested so far. Now back to Morales it goes. Marked by uh, Sanji Ivanchikov over to Bertel. Bertel still with the ball. Still with it. Bertel gets off the shot, deflected. And Ryshevsky got the foot of the way and gives up the corner kick. But he struck it low and could have been headed for that near post. Tulsa Fort Lauderdale, by the way, the strikers in Tulsa tonight, and uh, that game just underway, and we'll be keeping you updated throughout the evening. For the last corner kick, bent around and is headed in as Stewart Jump came up with the goal. Morales coming up with the corner kick on it. Let's see what this one does right now. Again, toward the goal, just inside the area. Vandebeck clears out to midfield. Houston recovers there. That near post flick on is a popular play among all teams. Oh, that was close as Perusi got through number four. The Bows boots it away. Again, tight marking by Andrew Shesky and just wouldn't allow uh, the uh, Houston side to do anything with the ball. Now he's already on the attack. Regularly taken away from Steve. Houston gets it back now. 20 minutes left to go in this first half, and the Rowdies trail by a 2 0 score. Here's Jump. Morales. Morales has it taken away, but Houston gets it back. Jump has it. Jump lets go and go just over the goalpost. Marvelous left-footed shot by Stuart Jump, and uh, again, Winston DeVos being uh, tested there as he, he had to go high and protect that crossbar. 19-29, left in the first half. Houston maintains that 2-0 lead. Gordon Jago, Keith Peacock, rest of the crew. Rowdies continue to probe for that first goal, trying to break the ice. Barilich got across the 35-yard line, but the ball tackled away, and Houston comes up with it once again. Roberts came over on that play, ball with Connell. The whistle goes against the Hurricane, and Hoscovy, and uh, he gets a double trouble there as he gets a little racked up in the interim. Kind of retaliates after he loses it off the leg of Andrzejewski. Free kick Tampa Bay. So Manny came over as you saw it. Now the ball off to the right side. The ball! Another free kick for the rallies and this time they have an opportunity to uh, set up a play do something by getting the ball into the penalty area. Wegley sends it along the ground. They try to get it through to Connell. And it dribbles toward the goal as it's taken by Sippinger. 17 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Neil Roberts pursues it across the uh, sideline. Mark Stahl putting the ball in play. Stahl, a USA citizen, comes from San Francisco. Now Morales takes over. Morales is from Uruguay. 
He had game winners in Houston's first two wins at home this year. Morales. Brittle. They push it back to jump. Russell. Russell has it back after getting it over to Scrimlaw. Houston playing a very patient game right now as they try and play it square. They're content to go all the way back in their own zone. They may get burned, but in the end, it could be the kind of strategy that brings them a win. It's Barrelich trying to get it away from Russell, and you saw, as Tom said, Houston brought it right back with him. Manny Andrzejewski almost won the race to get that ball, but Houston has it. Perusi. Give and go to Perusi. Shot by Morat by uh, number nine, Morasco, and a good save by Winston DeBose. Marvelous work by Winston as he stood his ground, and it was a great series by Houston as they come forward, and they've got it again. Hoscovy gives up the bad ball, though, and it's it's been deflected. It's going to be a corner for Houston. Orasco, who got off that last shot against DeBose from Argentina, Hurricanes' all-time leading scorer, just stands 5'7", 150 pounds. And off to the side, we see that Morales is attempting the corner kick, which he did successfully from that side some minutes ago. Hoscovy and Jump, Ian Anderson, all up in that penalty area again. Same kind of ball. Mm, this time curved right into DeBose. On that last series by Houston, when Morasco got off his shot, uh, a point to, to note there is that uh, the ball was given up at midfield. Uh, you may remember, remember the run by Andrzejewski. He's a defender. He was all the way at midfield, and Houston broke quickly then and uh, kind of exposed the rallies at the back. The referee talking to Bertle. He's already got one yellow. That was just a verbal warning from the referee, Robert Evans. We have a special halftime segment for you that I think you'll enjoy. George Plimpton will be our special guest at halftime, so make sure you stay right with us then. was in front of him he didn't wait for anybody to form take a look right here and see what Neil Roberts does marvelous volley and uh, finds the far corner Sickinger had been uh, moved toward the near post awaiting some kind of push not expecting uh, uh, the kind of shot that Roberts hit there you see the joy the Rowdy's come back and narrow the mark of two to one excellent effort by Roberts as he continues to move atop the Rowdy scoring list it was sort of an unexpected goal, not only by Sickinger, but also by the fans. There wasn't a sound here in the Astrodome when he got off the kick and the shot. I believe they were looking for a play to form in front of him, and all of a sudden, Robbins put it in. No question about it, then. That's where Sickinger went wrong, too, as he uh, was a bit uncomposed. And, and uh, the whole back line there uh, in losing the ball kind of lost their composure. So it's 2-1 to one as Houston now leads by... One goal, and the Rowdies have come back to score. Nicely cut out there by uh, Houston's number 15, Morales, the forward, who back on defense showed a lot of skill and breaking up another chance for Tampa Bay. Roberts' fifth goal of the year, four assists, a well-rounded player, Tampa Bay's leading scorer. But the Tampa Bay attack, in comparing notes with Houston, uh, a bit more balanced with the Wegerly at four goals, three assists. Fabiani with four goals. They're the top three for Tampa Bay. Two to one right now as the Houston Hurricane lead the Tampa Bay Rowdies. A little under 13 minutes to go in the first half of play. Morales trying to get away from Avanchikov gets it back to Russell. Houston had gone into a rather defensive shell for a few moments, and the Rowdies took advantage of it. Bertle 
Oscovy. Now Stahl. And Stahl pursues it, but not in time as it goes across the line, and the Rowdies take over. 12.20 left in period one, and a bit better news as we go to this break. The Rowdies losing two to one, but showing more composure. Bob Wolf and Tom Keen back with you in a moment. Astrodome, one of the eighth wonders of the world, or one of the wonders of the world, and we have some news for you, too, for home games. At Absolutely. The best way to see a Rowdies game is in a group. Get your club or organization in on all the fun. To see why Rowdies groups are so special, call the Rowdies office tomorrow, 585-1119 or 870-1122. Latched off his foot. Russell. Heading toward Bertel, who heads the ball. And DeBose has it as he was taken from just outside the box area by Perusi. Dangerous ball for Perusi because it caught a rowdy defender, and sometimes those deflections will drive a goalie crazy. Sending it one way when the keeper is leaning the other off the initial shot. Gorman gets over. Bertel has it back. Bertel from West Germany. The assistant coach is 33 years old. He's made his presence felt. Has a degree in mechanical engineering. And he's the only pro athlete in Houston in the social register. I don't know whether that's a feat or not. Tom. Well, DeBose has to come out. One feat is his fine play in history in the West German First Division, and he comes here with high credentials, and uh, as you watch the game tonight, he does much in setting up attacks and uh, kind of running things in the midfield area. He could be termed the Vandervane of Houston. And speaking of Vandervane, much missed tonight, but uh, at 2-1 down, the Rowdies uh, continue to look more and more into the game, and it's so early. Well, it's good to know that all those injuries will be all set for Sunday for that big game. Speaking about big games, Saturday night, June 14th, 8 o'clock, there'll be the Cosmos, and boy, that's like the game of the year. And the Special Olympic salute will be part of that big celebration. Cosmos have two more games to play before they come to Tampa, against Atlanta and Rochester. And at present, the Cosmos have two big streaks going that may be alive and ready to be broken by Tampa Bay. The Cosmos are undefeated under their new coach, Hennis Weisweiler. Hoscovy gets off the shot. Just, it goes in. I hope we can see this from early on on our replay because Hoscovy makes a marvelous run onto the wing into the space and gets the service from Bertel. Oscovy lofted that just high enough so that it was over DeBose's leap. And take a look at it right here because it shows an amazing amount of dexterity. Look how he puts it up in the air at just the precise right height. Gets it off right there and is just out of the reach of DeBose right into that corner. And you see two Hurricane players closing on that far post. So if it hadn't been in the back of the net on the shot, it still beat the keeper. And there were the two Houston attackers who could have nodded it in. The Hurricane go up three to one. Hoscovy from Finland, last year's leading scorer for the Hurricane. Three one is the score. 
formerly with Dallas. Uh, Dallas coach Al Miller brought him to the United States. The Rowdies fans have seen him a couple of times at indoor games at the Bayfront Center. Al Miller, by the way, is here scouting tonight. I'm sure he is. He's got both of these clubs on his schedule later in the season. Ten minutes gone in the first half of that Tulsa Fort Lauderdale game and no score. Final. In the second half of another NASL game underway tonight, Detroit and Toronto nodded up at a game of peace. Vanchikoff. Handled by Van de Beek, intended for Barilich, but Barilich couldn't get through the defense. And it comes out to a midfield where Connell is after the ball. And look at this. Almost a three on two as the ball goes squirting over the sideline. In pursuit that time, as you saw, was Morales. 6.35 left in our first half of this NASL game. And the scoreboard tells it all. More in a moment. Tom Keene and Bob Wolf back with you at the Astrodome. Coach Gordon Jago looking at the scoreboard feels he has nothing to lose. He's brought on Paul Mott for Sanji Evanchikov. Mott will be up in the attack more. Here's Barilich, Bob. Barilich, and the tackle takes the ball away. Ian Anderson coming over to tackle that ball. Barilich putting it in play. <clears throat> Pardon me. With five and a half minutes to go in this first half. trying to get free. And as far as placing the players on the substitution, John Gorman will come back into his natural left defender post. He was in the midfield at the start. Qureshi stays at midfield. There's Farouk now. So Gordon Jago trying to get a little more offense in as they trail by a score of three to one with five minutes to go in the first half. Morales on the give and go. Morales gets it back. Over to Hoskovy. This is Hoskovy getting off the cross. And the header just barely gets over the net. Hoskovy again coming in. Over to this effort by Bertle. And there you see giving a hail to Hoskovy for the good service. 436 now left in the first half. More in a moment from the Astrodome. They have looked like a pretty good team if they've teamed up there with Bertle coming in that time from the side. Morales. Anderson. Morasco, number nine, intercepted. And is pushed too far by Roberts, who got the uh, Rowdies goal a bit earlier. And a half minutes to go in the first half. And again, the pace kind of slows down. The crowd doesn't like it. They want more goals. They've enjoyed the hurricane attack so far. 
And Houston now gone strictly into its defensive shell as the clock winds down with three minutes to go in the first half. Bertel has been playing a very significant part in the game. He came up with four to got the last goal kick, which was attempted. He and Hoskabe combining. Nice series here by the Rowdies with some one touch passing. Tended for Roberts, broken up by Stahl. Back it goes to second game. Morales. Vandebeck. Vandebeck gets the ball away, but recovered and turned by the Hurricane. This is Anderson. And he'll play with it a bit as he runs it back. Stewart jump. Barilich is waiting for it as he heads it over to Roberts. Back to Barilich. Houston takes it at midfield as we have under two minutes to go in the first half. Here's Russell. Over to jump. Morales. Here's Wegley. Steve tries to get through. Three defenders close in. And the ball's taken away and given back to the goalie, Sickinger. Houston playing a very fine defensive game now, preventing the Rowdies from getting through with a minute and 20 seconds to go in the half, and the Rowdies trailing three to one. Yeah, but the problem right now is that it doesn't take a lot of defenders to close down two players. We speak of Wegerly and Roberts, who were the only ones up on attack that time. That could be the problem with the 4 4 2. You've got to get that midfield support. They bring it up, pull it back as the clock ticks away with less than a minute to go. Fans here hoping for a little more offense, even though their team is leading. You can hear the whistles in the background. Houston with the ball at midfield. Jump sends it deep to the left. And there you see the seconds tick away as we have less than half a minute to go in the half with the Hurricanes lead holding up. Here comes a card. Anderson, no, check that. One of the Americans, it's uh, Stremlau on the trip on Vanderbeck. 20 minutes gone now in Tulsa, where the strikers are playing the Tulsa Roughnecks. Of course, Fort Lauderdale ahead of the Rowdies in that Eastern Division race. And uh, we were looking forward to a total points victory by Tampa Bay tonight. Keep them up with the strikers. This is Kozic, and we're down now to five seconds in the half. As Kozic has it back to Barilich. One second. And that is it. End of the first half, and you can understand why the uh, Hurricane fans were a little upset with that defensive play right there at the end. They have averaged a goal a game coming into tonight's game, and they've already got three. The fans are hungry. They'd like to see more. We shall see when the second half comes up. Halftime activities right after this. Well, we're taking a look right now at one of the uh, USA players. You know, throughout the country, more and more college soccer uh, scholarships are being given to outstanding players on high school soccer teams. Of course, in order to be uh, scouted, the high school has to have a soccer team. And that's why it's so important that all schools with young people who want to play, not just for the, the sheer fun of playing, all that goes into uh, high school soccer, but many want to go on to play in college. There's a golden opportunity to get 
financial support for doing so. And of course, that's the next step for those few who get into the pros. Okay, the score right now is Houston three and Tampa one, Tampa Bay one, as we move into the uh, second half action. And giving a real close check with the old binoculars, it is the same 22 that finished the first half. And of course, there was that substitution by Tampa Bay when they brought on Paul Mott, taking out of Anzikoff, bringing in our John Gorman, or moving him, I should say, back from midfield where he started the night into his familiar left back role. Time of that substitution 38 36 in the first half. Not on for Ivanchikov. <laughs> Rowdy is having difficulty amounting somewhat of an offense this evening as we see Perry Vanderbeck. Ball taken up by Hoskovy and he yields it over and gets it back. Oscovy tries to get it through to Morasco. And Ryshevsky breaks it up. Anderson. And Anderson has it out midfield for the Hurricane. This pass a little too far as it goes across the sideline intended for Hoscovy. Pressure the there by Wegerly. Wegerly with the pressure there on Anderson and they forced him to give up the bad ball. That could have been a word in the locker room as far as the rallies were concerned in closing down some of the Houston players. They had a lot of room early on to mount their attacks. Norman moves in on jump, and jump decides to get it back to Sickinger. Updating you on that ever-important strikers game, it becomes more and more important as we look at the scoreboard here. Fort Lauderdale out in Tulsa, nine minutes left in the first half. Still no score between the Roughnecks and Fort Lauderdale. Roberts, Roberts coming toward the goal that time. Just couldn't get that extra touch of the ball. Roberts has the uh, Rowdies goal. Wiggly marked over there by Anderson. Wiggly intended to Roberts, head of the way. Barilich has it, Barilich gets off a shot, trickles off to the right side. Great turn by Peter as he settled the ball and had his back to the goal. They do get the corner kick. Sickinger must have turned it away. Watch the replay. Lovely turn. Sickinger may have touched it. He must have because they have won the corner. It was headed for that far post. Sickinger, as you saw, may have died for the ball. It looked like he just did deflect it outside of that post. Wiggly. Wiggly gets it back. Oh, Connell. Oh, what a save. Connell came in from the left side, willed one. Save was made, and Sickinger is hurt. Sickinger is hurt. He took that rocket from Connell. Point looked blank. Like he, looked like he hit him right in the head, in the face. And then Mott tried to follow. Here's Sickinger. While we attend to the injury, he got an ice bag on Sickinger's head. The hurricane could be in trouble if Sickinger has to come off. We'll have all the details for you when we return right after this. This new guy is we out. He is. Benner is warming up out there.
Tom Kane and Bob Wolf back with you. Roland Sickinger is up the Houston keeper. Rowdy's putting pressure on him now as he tries to get off that injury. They're warming up their substitute, David Benner, just in case. Wiggly getting set. And in front of the goal, Kozic. Oh, that was a good try that time, and they just couldn't get it through. Roberts trying to hit a very difficult shot from close quarters. Field trying to get off a bicycle kick there as the ball was just behind him. Rowdy's getting a little more aggressive as Hoskaby is down. Here comes a card. Paul Bob Mott will. came in that time, and Mott will get the yellow. Robert Evans, the referee, will see the replay. Hmm. Hooked him right around the ankle as he upended Hoskovy. Mott coming in trying to intercept it. He was going for the ball, it appeared. And it's Hoskovy who's still down. So in the period of a couple of minutes, two Hurricane players hit the AstroTurf with pain. As we told you at the start of the show, the ex rowdy Paul Hammond, their regular keeper, out with ligament damage. And they just signed a young American player by the name of David Benner as a backup goalie. Benner now back on the bench. The Sickinger says he's okay. And Hoskovy up as well. Benner, by the way, very tall. He's 6'4, 185 pound native of Houston. A member of the original 78 Hurricane team roster. We're early in the uh, second half of play. Houston Hurricane leading Tampa Bay by a score of three to one. Thirty-nine forty-five left in the second half. The Rowdies and the Hurricane will be right back after this. Three one Houston leading Tampa Bay. You know, in the Tampa Bay uh, whole region, what's being done for high school sports and soccer in particular is just fabulous. But more support is needing, and right now, Fannies, we need your support. You can help the Rowdies and Moss brothers implement high school soccer. You can make your pledge by calling right now, Tampa eight seven zero one one two two, or St. Pete. 585-1119. Operators are standing by. You can call now and make your pledge. And you can help to support high school soccer. You make some youngsters very, very happy. Watching Steve Wegerly on that last offensive thrust by the Rowdies, giving a signal to the rest of his team to keep the ball down. You see a lot of times on this artificial turf especially, it kind of gets ping-ponged around, and the Rowdies style is possession. Control, one touch passing. Wegerly appealing to his teammates to get back into that kind of a game. There's the wall being formed. Referee wants 10 yards. That's why the whistle blows. The wall must be 10 yards away. Still not getting it. Okay, Anderson getting set now. 
Anderson shoots off Barilich. Roberts. Vandebeck, Roberts. Marasco, Marasco goes down and the whistle. The free kick awarded to Houston. Marasco hurt. I would have to call it a goal saving tackle by the Rowdies defense. The Rowdies trying to move up field and uh, the ball turned away nicely. I believe it was Anderson sending it all the way back down. Not only stealing the ball on the play but setting up Marasco on the run with that diagonal run top of the box. And Houston again with another danger kick. Opportunity. Russell wide to the right. You may have heard on our effects, Mike, I think the ball just clipped that near post. Russell not far off target with that bender. And if you watched our rowdy special last night, we hope you enjoyed it. Russell could have been a part of it when we talked about bending, hooking, slicing the ball. A lot of time that's used successfully on those free kicks. Here's Andrzejewski along the right sideline. Offside call. Mm-hmm. Wegerly shakes his head. No, there's Andrzejewski who sent the ball in. You know, speaking about uh, Streak's little earlier uh, Tom team, Herman Weisweiler is saying of the Cosmos, he's undefeated since taking over with a six-game NASL win streak under him. And well, the Cosmos have two more games before they take on the uh, Rowdies on June 14th. He was very fortunate to keep his streak alive last Sunday. Washington were ever so unlucky not to win that one before 53,000 at the home field. Of course, it was a shootout win for the New Yorkers. Cosmos came in here with a four-game win streak, and that's being threatened right now by the Houston Hurricane. The uh, Rowdies, I should say, with the four game winning streak. I'm sure our fans corrected that wherever they were listening. The Cosmos, incidentally, have now scored at least one goal in their last 50 games. That could be another streak that will be on hand when they play the Rowdies on June 14th. Throw in awarded to Andrzejewski and Morasco. Can't believe it. Barilich gets it back. Qureshi. Back to Mott from Kozic. Mott pushed just a little bit there. Connell coming across the 35-yard line and oh! Close that time. Wiggly coming down the middle, but just couldn't get to the ball. Marvelous run by Wiggly and great service. Here's Connell. Look at this camera work. Excellent. The through ball. You got that defensive line kind of stacked up. And it just runs away from Steven on this artificial turf. Better soccer from Tampa Bay. Anderson gets it back to his goalie. He clears off to the right. The Rowdy's kind of pressing the attack a little more here. And Houston uh, playing around with it in their own end. With that two goal margin, I guess they can afford it. Another back pass. The fans here, as you can hear, getting very restive about this. As Houston playing strictly on defense right now. Oscar Stall. Over to Hoscovy. Hoscovy toward the goal. Header missed. Borishi breaks it up. And the Rowdies clear. Getting it back just to the 35-yard line. Stall. 
Huskabee, rather brittle. And the uh, heel pass intercepted by Qureshi as the Rowdies bring it out of their end up to Wegley. Barrelich is on the left. And the pass intended for Barrelich headed away as Wegley has it back. The give and go to Roberts. Wegley can't get through. And once again, Houston at three men masked there. Just outside the penalty area, they've won a free kick. The rally's protesting that it was inside. But nonetheless, another nice attack and build up a lot of support as the rallies went forward. Uh, excellent clearance, I might add, uh, on the one play by Stuart Jump. Tulsa Fort Lauderdale game at halftime. Still no goals for either side. Robert Evans very, very special as he checks out that 10 yards. Okay, there's the wall. The goalie getting set. Barilich looking at the ball. The shot, it thwarted, and it comes back out again. So they'll play it from the left. Of course, another area when you have a revamped lineup with new players on is all those set pieces you work on are kind of an improvised situation because you've got different folks in different roles. And uh, as with the barrel attempt, things didn't quite work. Time left, a little over 30 minutes. Both teams have had 14 uh, shots on goal. Ooh, that was sliced. The young player Paul Ma trying to clear. And, uh, these are some of the things that can happen to the youngsters. Gordon Jago looking on at the side. A little somber at the moment, as you might anticipate, with the Tampa Bay Rowdies trailing three to one. Barilich tries to get through. Roberts followed up, but he couldn't do either. Bertel. And regularly has it. Wegley still with the ball, now taken away. Wegley has it back. Tremendous work by Wegley. Yes, he stayed right with it, didn't he, Tom? Andrzejewski, Andrzejewski feeding toward Roberts. A header right into the hands. Nice work by the Rowdies as they continue to look more and more dominant on attack. Andrzejewski again. Andrzejewski feeds the give and go to Andrzejewski trying to get through just off to the side. It's going to be a corner kick. It was cleared away by the Houston defenders. And the Rowdies coming more and more into it looking more confident as they go forward. A little better organized with the 11 players they have out there now. Just wide with the shot and another good series. Sickinger forced to punch out on the initial uh, cross ball off the corner. Certainly in the last few minutes, oh, the Rowdies could have had a couple. They've worked hard, 28-13. Don't go away, more in a moment.
Tom Keane and Bob Wolf back with you. Free kick, Houston. Mike, Mike, in the space here. You can hear Winston DeBose, the rowdy goalie, shouting instructions. Mike. Ooh, Winston came up and just got it away. You know, the tremendous interest in the Tampa Bay Rowdies is evident in the, the press coverage that they're receiving right here at the game tonight. Five writers are on hand to give you their account. The newspapers, Jim Henderson, the Tampa Tribune, Dick Mudry, the Tampa Times, Dave Shiver, St. Petersburg Times, Randy Beard, St. Petersburg Independent, Robbie Andrews, Clearwater Sun, all covering tonight here in Houston. His coverage very extensive, as you've noted. This is WTOG TV, Tampa, St. Petersburg. Roberts. Long ball by Mott from way off the 35 yard by far side, and that great far post run that uh, all the great center forwards can give you. Canalia does it so well. Roberts there anticipating the ball. Great service from Paul Mott. Roberts, the target man, he's easy to spot. Good at heading the ball. Now, one of the reasons the Rowdies' attack has come alive a bit more is they are now keeping it on the ground as Wegerly wanted. As Coach Gordon Jago, of course, wants. Wegerly tries to get through and just can't do it. Here's a whistle going against the Hurricane, and the Rowdies have another set play opportunity just outside the penalty area. It is an indirect kick. Obstruction the call as Wegerly tried to go through a host of orange jerseys. Barilich, Connell, Wegerly all around the ball. In fact, all 10 of the Rowdies field players up within the other team's 35. Nothing to lose at this point except go for goals. Look at that solid wall. Shot by Wegley is wide to the right. Wegley appealing for some kind of deflection for a corner kick. Not so, it's a goal kick Houston. You know, when they built this tremendous place, the Astrodome, to house a baseball team, there was just one defect, you may recall, very interesting. They they couldn't see the baseball when it set up in the air. Here's Wegley going in. Sickinger Marvelous. came out to stop that one. Does go across the end line. Look at the courage of Sickinger if we have the replay. You've got to have some nerve to run into the flying feet of any forward. Oh! Yes, it is in. And it's Kozic. Boy, did you see that? That was terrific. Kosic came up on the left and headed it just inside the post. We'll watch the replay. Kosic ever so happy as he trots back to his defensive post. As we said, Coach Gordon Dago bringing everybody up. Off a Houston defender, looks like Anderson. Kosic right there to knot it down. He came right in among four people and just bowed his head and put it up on the left side to make the score now. Three to two. Tampa Bay Rowdies are trailing by a single goal as they've come back. The Houston team is leading three to two, as you said, but the fans are booing because Houston has lost the momentum here in the last part of this uh, second half. Another back pass draws the wrath of a few people that are here. And the way the Rowdies attack has come alive by keeping it on the ground, controlling it, playing the Rowdy game that we've come to know and love, they find themselves back into it. And for Kozic, his second goal of the year, but you may remember his first one, the second chance to the home opener against Washington. He scored and sent the game into overtime. Game which the Rowdies won in the shootout. Play on, says the official, is 
Wegley has a few words. 3 2 the score, 22 minutes and some seconds left to go in this second half. Hurricane leading. Oscovy. Oscovy. And still has it. Taken away very nicely by Vandebeck. Connell. Back to the Bows. Nice work by the Rowdies there. Connell holding the ball. A lot of times you're tempted to just jerk your leg and clear it out of danger, but the Rowdies want that possession now. Back to Connell now. Perusi clears. Midfield. Rowdies have it. Andrzejewski. Andrzejewski gets it back from Wegley. Goes it on the right side. Shoots. And it is just wide to the left. Rabbit shoots oh. high. He was right in front of the goal. Excellent opportunity for Neal. And uh, some of the Houston players have almost packed it in. Number four for Houston. The midfielder Perucci let Andrzejewski run free and get the return ball from Wegley, who crossed it well. Boy, that was a great opportunity that time. The last 20 minutes are going to be fun. And there's one danger, of course, in pushing everybody forward looking for the equalizer. The quick counter that any team can pull off is a possibility. But the Rowdies have certainly shown tremendous aggressiveness in regrouping coming back. Roberts racing off to the left side. John Connell there to defend. Gets it back to the Bose. Cute little touch by Perusi. He tried to flip it over Michael, but Michael, of course, a member of the NASL All-Star team, and you have to do a little more than that to beat Iron Mike. Kozic, long one toward the goal. Throughout this game, Bob Wolf and myself have been looking for the stars, the award winners, as we award our usual Lipton Offensive and Defensive Player of the Game Award. We'll invite you to look along with us and see if we all agree at the end. Now they're under 20 minutes to go in the second half, and the Rowdies trail 3-2. to two. You know, we mentioned the fact that when they built this for baseball, they couldn't see the baseball when they hit it up in the air because of the light coming in and the different patterns, the way that the, the structure was built with the, the cross wood. There's the coach across the way. So they had to darken all of the top so you could see the baseball. By darkening, the sunlight couldn't get in and the grass couldn't grow. And that's how AstroTurf came about. They had to put in an artificial grass. Anderson with Wegerly on his back there, putting it out in center field. As Wegerly sets for the throw, and we can tell you that Lynn Anderson, Ray Stevens, the Statler Brothers host Nashville's greatest stars at the 14th annual Music City News Country Awards Monday night on Channel 44, a whistle far side. Free kick Houston. Seconds keep ticking away right now. Shots on goal, Tampa Bay 19, uh, Houston Hurricanes 16. Definite difference from the first half statistics. And uh, the rallies, uh, the statistic bearing out the quality of the rallies attack here in the second half. In that first half, it was... Uh, 13 for the Hurricane, but five for Tampa Bay. And Houston has had seven saves. Tampa Bay three. The score, three to two. Houston leads Tampa Bay. The time, 17.47 left to go. Off in the distance, a couple of Houston players warming up. Could be a sub forthcoming for the orange-shirted Hurricane. Andrzejewski, Roberts, and as it comes to 
comes out for Rishi. And it's cleared finally. It's Russell with the ball. But the Rowdies get it back and they return it to the Bulls. against the clock continues. There's no doubt about the momentum having switched over to Tampa Bay right now, but they're also fighting the clock. Mott tries to get it away. Andrzejewski is barreled. Andrzejewski digging on the right side. Andrzejewski loses the ball as he tried to get it back. It was taken back by the Hurricane. Girdle. Morasco feeds over to Russell. Morasco now to the far side, and Wiggly has it. Here's Steve Wiggly approaching the 35-yard line. Wiggly finds an opening. Wiggly running with the ball, getting through. Wiggly gets off the shot, but he just can't hook it enough. Here's the corner. Wiggly goes to the far corner flag to put it in play. Excellent run by Steven. Tries to get by two folks, but again, you see why Wiggly has trouble on the turf. That's his game to push and run with his blinding speed. He does get to it, forces the corner. But a lot of times on the artificial stuff, it'll run away from you. Tended for Roberts, but he couldn't get to it. Now he's trying to get it back in this offensive area. And they do kick wide. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Leave it. 15 oh, minutes one. straight up left in our match. And the rallies continue their pressure as they look for the equalizer. Houston 3, Tampa Bay 2. Soccer 80 continues in a moment. goes off. Keen and Bob Wolf back with you and substitution. Bakic comes on, a Canadian formerly with Washington. And uh, going out is Morasco, who lost the ball earlier on a long dribble. Didn't like it, says Coach Eckert Crouchen. So the change comes on. And we're under the 15-minute uh, mark now. Rowdy's trailing three to two, trying to get the equalizer. Bringing it out of their end. Wiggly still with it. Norman receiving from Connell. Rowdy's coming in from the left side. Wiggly circling with the ball. Now reverses. Now feeds the header. Roberts goes over, just can't get it through. Wiggly over on the far side and all that series was double team. Still worked hard. Got in his cross. Hurricane goal kick. Close. 
You know, even speaking about the fact that Saturday, June 14th could be the game of the year in Tampa Stadium against the New York Cosmos. And you can come and help McDonald's and the Rowdy support the Special Olympics. That'll be a, a thrilling night for the youngsters. There'll be a big balloon lift, yellow and green balloons will be ascending. Proceeds, those who purchased the balloons to the Florida Special Olympics program. And the cheers for those youngsters will ring out. It'll be a tremendous night. And Hurdle taken game. down there, and the Hurricane have a free kick. You see it right at the top of the box. Anderson, Hurdle, Haskell all over the ball. A massive wall set up by Tampa Bay. Anderson's kick is blocked. Rowdy's come up with it. Oh, Roberts intercepts. Feeds off to the left side. Here's Wiggly shooting. Why? Another nice surge by Tampa Bay as the ball broke out of midfield. It's going to be tough to uh, make a decision between the Rowdy's two front runners as far as award winners are concerned. Neal leaves it on to Steven. The shot just wrong. So it's 3-2. Houston leading a little too far for Perry Vandebeck. Time now, 11 minutes and some seconds. Parolich. Almost looked like he was dummying that one, but it rolled by him. And the Hurricane taking over. Perusi feeding to Bakic, intercepted. The Rowdies have it over to DeBose. Now we move on to the 11 minute mark. The Rowdies trailing by a goal. Drop kick by DeBose off Wiggly. Taken by Russell. Houston again. Defensive tactics being used. As the seconds tick away against the Rowdy hopes right now. Free kick awarded to Tampa Bay. John will move it back. John Gorman. Wegley lets fly. Again, wide to the left. Sometimes you get impatient when the time's running out. Wegley shot uh, trying to catch Sickinger wrong, but he had uh, a lot of people up in front of him who were trying to make run. Find his face. Ten minutes now left in our match. Kozic. See, Kozic pushed up a lot more, more into the midfield and, and in the attacking role. And right now there's uh, four people back: Koreshi, Gorman, Hano, and Rushevsky. Everybody else up trying to get the equalizer. The Rowdies keep possession, approaching the box area, back to midfield as we go under the ten-minute mark. Perusi. Oh, could be trouble here. Shot. Oh, what a save by the goal. Boy, that was close. That's what you call a layup in basketball. Perucci can't believe it. Boy, he, that was close. Let's take a look. Wild shot here from Hoscovy that really pressures Winston. All he can do is try and parry, and Perucci just can't handle it. That would have closed the door, for sure. Mm. Carlos Perusi with two goals, two assists. Perusi with the one name, he, a Brazilian, six-footer. Rowdy's still alive. Wegley shot is blocked, however. And the Hurricane has the ball with eight and a half minutes to go. Vandebeck trying to get it away. Whistle on the play. He was going against Bakic. And he gives up the free kick on the hard mark, does Perry Vandebeck. Yeah, 
Fox. Landed back, of course, with goals in his last two games, and uh, his first two goals as a rowdy. Like to keep the streak alive, and couldn't think of a better time to get number three. Anderson with a long one toward the goal, taken by the Bulls. Imagine the injured players back in Tampa just itching, wishing they could be in action right now. They should be by Sunday. That should be a big game coming up, too. Uh-oh! Look at this! Look at this! Still alive, shot! Oh, a save in front of the goal! The goalie was away. One of the defenders came over to block that shot. You get his, uh, it was... Oh, no, that was Ian Anderson who Ian Anderson. Uh, is doing his job. When the keeper comes out, uh, one guy has the responsibility to be stationed on the back line. You see Anderson going there now. It was Sickinger way out. Anderson saves it. Boy, another marvelous series by Tampa Bay. Tremendous Thank pressure. That was a heroic save that time. That could have been the equalizer right there. Ozich. Whoop! Still free. Great run by Kozic, looking like a winger. Wiggly, good bit of ball handling, still with it. A little over seven minutes, still the play. Rowdy's trailing three to two. There's the time. Mott over to Connell. Connell gets it forward, headed. Backage clears up to midfield. Here's Connell, Kozic. Now forward a little too far. Roberts just trying to get his head on the ball as it came through. He just wanted to turn it a little for another front runner. Perusi. Russell. The action is really becoming heated right now. Russell shoots. Save. It was deflected off the hands of DeBose. The player down for the hurricane. They have had their trouble all year with injuries. And now the ice bag brought out again. Can't, can't see the number at the moment. Looks like Girdle's down. being shoved around. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Morales, I believe. Morasco, of course, off with this rocket by Russell. Just turned away by DeVos, and of course, there's a corner. Bertle in the corner. And Morales is up. The trainer leaves the field. The crowd responds to Morales. Up and healthy. Bertle's corner kick right to DeBose. We're under the six minute mark. Houston leading by a score of three to two. Back to Bertle. Bertle trying to get in that box area. Good sliding tackle. Takes the ball right away. Uh oh, a little too hard that time as you saw Mott go over. The second time he banged into Hoskaby. Mott already with a yellow. That was a violation, definitely. Not taking his legs as well, but he gets that foot in, and you see the ball well away from Oscovy. That's against the law. This is Russell now. Off Borishi. We have exactly five minutes left to go. with the corner kick. Winston. DeBose leaps up. And a whistle as he does. Rowdy is will take possession. Vanderbeck back to DeBose. Vanderbeck to DeBose. 440 left in the game. To Roberts, 
He heads it forward over to Wiggly. Roberts, Wiggly tries to get through the ball high up in the air. Barilich was there doing a little pushing, trying to get po position. The whistle goes against the, uh, the other side, though. Barilich not allowed to uh, play the ball, is what the call is. The Houston player just impeded his movement toward the ball. The Rowdies will welcome that. Wiggly gets it over to Andrzejewski. Andrzejewski toward the left, up in the air toward the goal, and it is in front of the goal, taken there by Sickinger. Nice header by Vanderbeck, and you see uh, so many rallies in the penalty area now that they are actually knocking into each other. They are up in earnest with three, uh, just under four minutes left to get that equalizer. Our scoreboard of other games tonight, Detroit has whipped Toronto 2-1. to one. And 25 minutes left in the match in Tulsa, the Strikers and the Roughnecks look like they might be headed for OT. Russell, headed away by Russell gets it forward. Morales, Morales with a shot taken by DeBose. DeBose sends it forward. Now Hoskovy, Russell, Barilich. Russell over there against Barilich as we have the whistle. On the tight market by Russell, the foul goes against This is Gorman to Barilich. Now Barrelet shot deflected as it goes out of bounds off Anderson. The corner. Barrelet putting it in play. Time running down very quickly. Barrelet sends it forward. Play is stopped. Time out. 2.38 on the clock. Wegley will now come in and take it as the natural position. Tampa Bay. Here's Wiggly. Sends it curving toward the goal. Cleared by Jump. Barilich after it. Oh, Barilich couldn't quite get to it. This run by Morales. His shot hits the post. Oh, was that close. It hit the post. Finally cleared away. Taken over by Vandebeck. Anderson comes in. Now Andrzejewski. Over to Wiggly. Wiggly gets it up to the side, taken back by the Hurricane and intercepted once again by the Rowdies. Wiggly sends it forward and right to the goal. Just missed Andrzejewski on the pass, caught him from behind. Manny was free. Great run here by Morales. Heck of a shot. Winston stends his body the whole way as he'd come to cut off the angle and did so. Oh, it hit right up against the post. We're down under the two-minute mark right now as Wiggly has the ball. And on the play, of course, uh, Morales got the shot off. Berlich losing the ball. A quick, fast break. And now there's a whistle. Anderson oh, sitting oh, on the seat of his pants inside the penalty area. It's going to go for Houston. Score three to two. Houston leading Tampa Bay. We're down to a minute and 33 seconds. Clock stopped at 133. There's Stremlau leaving the game. Charbonneau comes in. Howie Charbonneau, early in the day, we thought, and the Houston roster thought that he wouldn't play because he'd received a red card, but the NASL League office allowed him to play tonight. Of course, when you get the red, you miss a game. Charbonneau in. Bertle over to Stahl. Now off Hoscovy. Perusi. Perusi gets it back. This is Hoscovy. Hoscovy with his run along the right side, cutting toward the middle, sliding tackle. Taken away by Connell. And now taken back by Backage. Here's Backage, Connell marking him. Connell takes it back, and the ball goes out of bounds. We have less than a minute to go now. 
Ian Anderson, our Lipton defensive player of the game, and uh, just a solid effort. Of course, he converted the penalty early on, too, but uh, that play here in the second half where he was all alone on the goal line and turned away the rowdy equalizer, the reason he is our award winner. Rishi over there against the sidelines. As far as the offensive player of the game, very difficult to pick him, but uh, based on the Rowdy's comeback effort in the second half, which Steve Wardley had much to do with, both mentally and physically, he wins the award. A couple of defenders uh, getting goals tonight, making the offensive uh, award tough. Down goes the flag. We're down to five seconds right now. And now the countdown down to one second and the game. Hey, Mike, get back get out of here. A lot of emotion out there right now. Is, no, the game plays on since there were so many injuries. The Hurricane continue to try and get a corner kick in play. And now there's a battle going on over there that you wouldn't believe. And now it's over. So although the scoreboard clock showed no time left, apparently there were just a few seconds left to go, and that is the final conclusion as Tampa Bay gave it a great battle but just couldn't come back all the way. And the Houston Hurricane take it with the final score, 3-2. to two. We'll be back in just a moment.